Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's officially Christmas time, the best time of the year, in my opinion anyways. I'm really excited about this series of holiday cocktail videos. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new content, and while you're there, hit the like button too. Something about this time of year makes me want to eat and drink all of the indulgent things. And one of the most indulgent drinks I can think of is eggnog. While you could just buy some eggnog in a carton at the grocery store, I really think homemade is so much more superior. And it really is not difficult to make. All you will need are a few ingredients you likely already have on hand, and a little bit of time. In today's video, I will be making two versions of eggnog, the classic and a vegan version. I'm going to begin today's video with the version we all know and love, the classic eggnog. For this recipe, you will need three eggs, separated whites from yolks, quarter cup of sugar plus two tablespoons, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, three quarter cup of heavy cream, one and two thirds cup of whole milk, nutmeg, I highly recommend using freshly grated nutmeg, white rum, and bourbon, and a little pinch of salt. First, I'm going to separate the egg whites from the yolks. I'm putting the yolks straight into the saucepan I will be using to cook the mixture. After separating the eggs, cover the whites and keep them in the fridge for now. Next, I'm going to add the sugar to the yolks and whip them until they lighten in color. Then I will add the cream, followed by the milk, and a little pinch of salt. I will give these a quick whisk to combine, and then head over to the stove where I will cook over medium heat. It's not easy to tell when this is ready because it will only thicken slightly due to the volume of liquid. The best way to know when it's ready is by using a thermometer and turning off the heat as soon as it hits 170. For me, this took five minutes over medium heat. Once I remove the custard from the heat, I'm going to add in the vanilla and grate in the nutmeg and give all these a quick whisk to combine. Now I'm going to let this cool completely in the fridge. After our custard base has cooled, I'm going to whip the egg whites with two tablespoons of sugar to soft peaks. Now I'm just going to whisk in the meringue to the custard. If you wanted to keep it a virgin eggnog, you can stop here. Just make sure you stir the eggnog each time you pour a glass to make sure each serving gets that delicious meringue. And also be sure to grate some extra nutmeg on top. This eggnog will last about two to three days in the fridge. For the alcoholic version, I'm going to add two ounces of bourbon, four ounces of white rum. Lightly whisk it all together. And now pour the eggnog into your glass. Finally, garnish it with a little more nutmeg. This eggnog is so luxurious and so, so delicious. For me, it's the perfect amount of alcohol, but you can always top it up if you think it needs more. My vegan eggnog is a bit more labor intensive, but the results really pay off. While I was researching and developing this vegan eggnog, I noticed that all the recipes I found were basically a nutmeg milkshake and none had the viscous texture of the traditional eggnog, and they also lack the fluffy meringue that I believe really makes this drink exceptional. For the base, I went with a homemade oat milk. I chose oat milk because I needed something starchy to help emulsify the oil and also thicken the mixture to a loose custard texture. 
While store-bought oat milk will certainly work for this recipe, I wanted to make it all from scratch and honestly, it's much cheaper just to make it yourself and not at all hard. All you need is time, simple ingredients, a blender, and something to strain the oat milk through. For this recipe, you will need a cup of oats, regular old-fashioned rolled oats. Quick cooking oats will give the oat milk a slimy texture. Three cups of cold water, four tablespoons of hemp seed, two tablespoons of a neutral oil, I'm using avocado oil, one third cup of sugar plus two tablespoons, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, the liquid from a can of chickpeas, and nutmeg. First, you will need to soak the oats in cold water for three to four hours, then rinse. This is going to help remove the excess starch that could lead to a slimy texture. First, I'm going to add the three cups of cold water to the blender, followed by the soaked and rinsed oats. Now, I'll add the hemp seed. These are going to add lots of creaminess to our eggnog. After the hemp seed, I'll add two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of avocado oil, and blend on medium-high for 25 seconds. While making oat milk is not difficult, there are certain rules you must adhere to if you don't want to end up with a slimy oat milk. The temperature of the water must be cold, and you really do not want to overblend this mixture. If you do, the texture of the oat milk will be off and it could ruin the drink. To err on the side of caution, I would not blend this for more than 25 seconds. To strain the oat milk, I'm using a nut milk bag and just squeezing the liquid through. If you don't have a nut milk bag, you can just use an old t-shirt or a pillowcase to strain it. After the oat milk has been strained, I'm going to transfer it to my saucepan. I'll add the sugar and salt here, and also grate some fresh nutmeg. Next, I'm going to heat the mixture over medium heat until it just starts to thicken and resembles a loose custard texture. After this consistency is achieved, I'm going to let this cool completely and store in the fridge. While the oat milk custard is chilling, I'm going to make the vegan meringue. I'm going to add my chickpea water, also known as aquafaba, to a cold metal bowl, along with two tablespoons of sugar, and whip until soft peaks have formed. Now that the custard base is nice and cold, it's time to fold in the meringue and add the alcohol. If you want to leave this virgin, you can stop here. For alcohol, I'm going to use four ounces of brandy instead of the rum bourbon combination from the original eggnog. I find that the rum and bourbon tend to overwhelm this eggnog and brandy has a more round mouthfeel that will add complexity to the drink. This eggnog will last a day or two in the fridge, though it's best to drink it immediately, otherwise the aquafaba meringue dissipates after a while. Make sure to whisk before pouring each serving to distribute the meringue and top with more nutmeg. This vegan eggnog is so creamy and decadent, it could easily be mistaken for the real thing. It's hard to believe it's dairy, egg, and nut free. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next week with another holiday cocktail video.